good morning. I'm just leaving the Cross Trails Hostel slowly. Um, probably gonna head back down to the mile that I've already done. <laughs> like, basically it was like, I went a mile along the river and then back up because I didn't see the little side trail that leads up to here. And then I got a hitch um, off, once I got off the trail, right as I was coming to the, where I would have to road walk back up to this hostel, I saw this um, gentleman walking his dogs and I was like, hey, can you give me a ride? <laughs> And he was like, sure. So I hopped in the back of the truck yesterday and just got like, because it was only like a mile. He dropped me off at a gas station that's kind of half a mile away so that I could get some, um, a few more snacks for this section. Uh, so I did that. And then um, basically where this hostel is right now is, it is pretty close to off the trail, but you, you can't miss the side trail. <laughs> If you miss the side trail, then it's like a mile down and then a mile up the road. So right now there's like no one really around. I probably want to get a ride. So I'm just gonna go back down and do that mile over again. Cause I'd rather do a mile on the pretty river walking section. If you didn't see yesterday's video, it was really gorgeous. Like walking along the river yesterday evening um, rather than just road walking back. Uh, so gonna do that. I met up with Coyote. Uh, so we're hiking out together. So that's fun. We have a 100 mile stretch to Boiling Springs. So I have four days of food. Hopefully <laughs> might be closer to three and a half or three. Uh, we'll see. I'm just, food is like hard and like to know right now. I think I'm finally done with the antibiotics. Um, so hopefully my stomach will like normalize and I'll start feeling good with all the trail food. But my back feels really light and nice. And yeah, this this hostel cross trail is like, I didn't even know about it. And it was like, oh, Harper's Ferry isn't that. I heard that it wasn't like super hiker friendly. And I think that that's the vibe because it's really expensive and it's um like a really nice, um, historic tourist town. It's really, really cute. Um, and there's not a hostel like in downtown, but this is just right over the bridge. And I didn't see it cause it was in the new map. So anyways, if you're in Harper's Ferry, I highly recommend the Cross Trails Hostel. Uh, cause it's not that far. <sighs> so it's supposed to get really hot today and really hot this week and then maybe rain and thunderstorms like later towards this weekend. So we shall see how it all goes. Off we go. Oh yeah, also didn't realize we're in Maryland. <laughs> so it was like Virginia, West Virginia and Maryland all in one, all in one little like tiny stretch and I decided not to do the four state challenge because I don't want to like destroy my feet at the beginning of the second half of this trail so the most I've ever done in a day is 36 miles on the Pacific Crest Trail I don't know if I'll, if I'll do if I'll even try 36 miles on this trail but uh, the four state challenge is around 44 I mean, it probably would have been okay, but honestly, just like the logistics of getting into Harper's Ferry and then back to touch Virginia because you leave Virginia like two miles before uh, Harper's Ferry. So I feel like if it was, but logistically, if that wasn't the case, I might've been more inclined to do it or try, but I just didn't want to have to like rewalk those miles or get a hitch or like, I don't know, camp there. So, so here we are, just not, not doing the four state challenge. Just going to happily do 25 today. Besides, I already hit three of the four. So, I don't know.
action again. <laughs> Almost done with it. It was a quick. Passing the shelter this morning. Did actually look really nice from the far out comments. But it is only 9.30 a.m. Okay, I was walking down the trail, <laughs> and uh, I said, I came up to a couple people, and usually, like, if they're ahead, I just say hello, so I don't get too close or surprise them, and I was like, good morning, and then, <laughs> um, the gentleman that was leading, uh, his name's Randy, he turned around, and he said, oh my goodness, can I give you a hug? <laughs> I said, okay. And so then he gave me a hug and it was very nice because he was like, we love your channel and like following your journey. Thank you so much. And it was just really, really nice. He's traveling with his daughter. So I got to uh, snap a picture with them, uh, Randy, Julie, and then his wife, Tammy, is supporting from home. And so we just, and then Coyote came up and we all just were chatting for a while and it was just really nice, <laughs> nice way to start the morning because they're beginning their journey as a flip-flop and there's always so much good energy, you know, and at the beginning of the journey and we're in the middle of the journey and it's, it's nice to, uh, yeah, just appreciate all parts and of this walk, this long walk that we're on. Um, yeah, so I'm wishing them the best of luck and definitely <laughs> encouraged uh, by our conversation. And yeah, so thank you all. <laughs> um, look at all this green. Green, green, green leaves. Wow. It's all coming in. Okay, around eight miles in today. We're at Gathlin State Park. So look at this cool arch. Just got water. This bathroom that was closed, but there's a little spigot over there. It's just such a gorgeous day. It's not too hot yet or anything. It feels great. get a good view of this. Oh, there's like a statue up there. Wow. Cool. Whoa. Okay, second really long black snake of the trail. Oof. Well, he's disappearing. But, whoa. Oh, he's, I don't know, creepy. Underneath the log somewhere. Ooh, so many of these guys today. Look at all of them. Wow. Ooh, it's a little afternoon after 12 and hoping to take a break at these, at this viewpoint. Pretty. We've been sitting here at lunch for like over an hour. No way. Yeah, well, I think it's like about an hour right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do they also deliver beer? <laughs> okay, so you guys saw that pizza. Oh my gosh. A couple other hikers had ordered it to the trail and they had extra. So, me, Coyote, and Mountain Goat got to have some pizza. It was so awesome. It was Snot Rocket um, and her partner. And, oh my goodness, that was awesome. So we all just sat there for a long time. <laughs> now it's, and we also took a very long lunch, like earlier. So it just has felt like so relaxing and chill and a nice 
fun day full of hikers and hiking, like hanging out like together. Cause so often I'm just like all alone all day. And I mean, when I'm hiking with Coyote, like, oh, well, we tend to have lunch at the same place, but it's been a few hundred miles since we were even hiking together. Um, and then when it was me and the professor, we weren't like hiking near enough people to actually like join anyone else um, or run into anyone throughout the day very much, unless they were just day hikers or whatever. So it's been really fun. I think I'm the oldest one in the group. <laughs> and, but that's all right. I think out here, age doesn't really matter that much. Like, I feel like the friendship dynamics are kind of across the board. Whether you're, you know, in retirement age or middle age or young, it's just, yeah, we're all out here to hike and it's nice to be friends. No, regardless of the age. So, oh, that's a little exciting update. So the trail goes right near this old Washington Monument and we've been having a little history lesson on the way up, which has been fun. <laughs> wow. That's Pennsylvania. Whew. Is it? According to the sign. Oh, okay. <sighs> wow. about this bridge thing. It's so cool. <laughs> okay, so we're around a mile and a half, a little bit more than that to camp. We decided to skip the Pine Knob Shelter, which is where we were gonna stay, and head to the Pogo Memorial campsite. So no shelter tonight, but it's been a beautiful day. So hopefully it won't rain on us. Rain wasn't in the forecast. Um, and we just got to the Pine Knob Shelter just like a little too early. We were both feeling really good. So we decided to press on to this campsite. I think it's probably like just like three miles more because I think the day would have been 22 but now it'll be 25 something so should get there in like the next 35 minutes or so we'll see <sighs> but yeah it's been such a fun day it really feels like we got to do so much socializing with other hikers and I don't know I feel like I kind of feel like we should come up with like a little name for all the hikers that are around us because it's pretty much um, been all of the same, all of us like near each other, not always on the exact same pace, but Mountain Goat and his sister Rainbow, um, and then me and Coyote and Snot Rocket and Omnitos, but Omnitos is now behind and um, Snot Rocket's partner has joined her. So he's been near us as well. They're the ones who had the pizza today. Um, and it's just like, yeah, we pretty much haven't met that many other Nobos. Um, it's just been 
been us for a long time. I think we all have met Wubby. Um, and then Coyote's also met Topo. And then obviously like the Nobos that are behind like Sandra and Dawn. But um, yeah, it's just, yeah. So anyways, it was cool. All of us getting to kind of hang out today. And it was pretty unplanned. I mean, so that's like cool. Felt more like the PCT today, actually. Okay, so we made it to camp. I'm gonna camp here um, and just cowboy camp tonight because it's hopefully not gonna rain. It's a little cloudy, but not bad. Um, and I'm gonna make dinner right now. Just enjoy the sunset. Okay, I'm all tucked in bed. I'm cowboy camping tonight, so I have my bivy and my sleeping bag, and my layers, and it's really not very cold, but it might, the temperature might drop a little bit tonight, so we'll see. Um, I feel so cozy and nice, um, just ready to, to sleep, and honestly, like, kind of excited for coffee in the morning, <laughs> so... Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!